WUSA 9 Weather Watch is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. Well, some of you may be seeing sunshine. Others of you are getting hit with snow. That's right. We do have a band of snow, a squall pushing through the area right now. This is all along a very potent and powerful Arctic front that's making its way in. So areas north and west of DC have seen the lion's share of this. And when it's all said and done, we could get a dusting today and we're looking at more snow Monday night heading into Tuesday. First, let's take you for a trip around the region on radar and future cast and show you where this snow is falling. We can see some falling along the Leesburg area. Pretty soon this is going to be into Chantilly. We've already had some in Frederick. Damascus is pushing into Olney now, maybe mixing in with a bit of rain. And a closer look in shows that along 270, there's some snow falling around Poolsville, Germantown, Damascus, Mount Airy, all these areas picking up on snow. It's fast moving. It shouldn't last long, but it's quite potent. Some of these bands are quite heavy, so it may quickly snow uh, for, it may be heavy as it snows, and also it will quickly reduce visibility, so you may not be able to see much as you're driving through it, and then it will begin to dissipate. DC, Silver Spring right now, Laurel, uh, not seeing anything in that area just yet, but if this band holds, give it another 30 minutes or so, and you will see the snow moving into those areas as well. So we're tracking our snow for today, some flurries, and then a stray snow shower early Monday, more snow from Monday 7 p.m. until Tuesday at about 11 a.m. with all the winter weather moving out by Tuesday afternoon after about 1 o'clock or so. All right, so winter weather chances, uh, light snow and flurries today, more snow Monday into Tuesday, and then even on Friday, we'll still have a chance to pick up on that snow. So this is future cast in the next hour by 12 o'clock is showing that some of that snow will be over DC and temperatures will have dropped a bit as this uh, band of snow, this squall works its way across the area. And then after about 1 30 or so, it dissipates, breaks up, but uh, winds are going to pick up dramatically behind this and it is going to be quite chilly. Those temperatures will continue continue to drop. That's the power of an Arctic cold front. It's an immediate drop in temperatures as that cold air comes in. Winds are going to get a uh, gust to 30 to 40 miles per hour. At times you may find even a 50 mile per hour wind gust, but the rest of your Sunday will be dry with passing clouds. Now this is a newer run of our in-house model. The graph model. It does show some hit or miss flurries early Monday morning at 8 30 a.m. for the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday under cloudy skies and very cold temperatures. We're in the 20s early tomorrow morning morning at 830 and then even at 530 in the afternoon, some hit or miss flurries working their way in. The better timing to see these flurries will be around uh, or snow tomorrow. Rather, will be around seven o'clock or so Monday and then we'll gradually see more of that snow come in. This is Monday night at 930. At this point, everybody's getting some flakes and for most areas, this is going to be an all snow, a pure snow event. Look at this. These temperatures are at and below freezing across the board with that Arctic air in place. And then Monday night, 1030, we continue to see it through midnight, uh, early Tuesday morning. There will still be some snow left over, uh, and this again will wrap up around 11 a.m. for most areas and for everybody after about one o'clock or so in the afternoon. Also want to show the European model because the timing is a little bit different on it. It, it lags this or keeps this in a little bit longer. So this is going to be Monday at 1230. We're dry there, but you can see around 10 o'clock at night is when the European model gets this all started for us and continues to just pour that snow in through the overnight hours. Another difference I'm seeing on the European model is it brings a rain snow line over southern Maryland. Uh, that seems a bit believable. This is about Tuesday at 530 in the morning, and then this is Tuesday at 930 still snow over DC, but you see Southern Maryland. Uh, not all of that snow is holding on. This one is bringing the system just a little bit closer and perhaps some warmer air intruding in. This is your Tuesday at about 1230 and then you can see by the afternoon it begins to move to the east and fizzle out of the area. When it's all said and done, how much are we talking here? Uh, for depending on where you are, if you're in the Southern Maryland area, I wouldn't expect more than a half an inch there. Metro DC anywhere from a half an inch upwards of two inches uh, for the snow there because we will be a bit cold here and this will be, as I mentioned, all snow and we shouldn't have a problem with uh, moisture and temperatures combined. It should be right on point to give us that snow from Monday night through at least early on Tuesday. So winds uh, picking up across the area right now, getting back to today. You can see that we have gust already over 25 miles an hour in the Manassas area. Leesburg getting gusts of 30 miles per hour and you see those winds coming in from the northwest. That's the Arctic front working its way in. Now at times those winds could gust as 
I mentioned, as strong as 50 miles per hour. So the National Weather Service has issued this wind advisory until 5 o'clock today for those strong wind gusts as that front comes bursting through the area. Uh, looking at a winter storm warning as we head over to western Maryland, two to four inches or more of snow there over the Oakland area and winter weather advisories along Cumberland where we've already seen a band of snow pass. That's going to stay in place until about noon today. Now, once the cold air settles in and those winds whip up, wind chill is going to be another factor for us in the forecast. This is your Sunday at 6 p.m. At this point, it feels like we are in the teens in Leesburg and Gaithersburg and feeling like 20s in D.C. Feels like 19 in Andrews around that time. Tomorrow morning waking up, uh, we're going to feel like we are in the teens and 20s once again. This is Monday at 1130 a.m., so it still feels like the 20s out there. And it's going to feel like 20s throughout the day on Monday, especially with those clouds and the colder air in place. So wind chill is going to be a huge factor for us. Uh, cold air is sticking around. Some of you have touched off right around 40 degrees. That's not going to last long. That Arctic front is going to quickly drop you into the 30s today and will stay in the 30s for the remainder of the week. Only 33 Monday, 34 Tuesday, right around 33 Wednesday. And by Thursday, we're up to 38 degrees. Now, remember I mentioned we could also see a chance for snow on Friday. In fact, as early as late Thursday night, we could pick up on some light flurries. But this is your Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we can see that there could be some snow around D.C. with the rain snow line well to the south of us over southern Maryland. This will continue throughout the day on Friday. Friday's looking messy right now. We're still a couple days out. Things could change, but this is what it looks like. This is your Friday at 12 o'clock. Still looking at snow here, and this is your Friday at 2.30 p.m. Still seeing snow across the area. Rain snow line well to our south. If this stays on trend, we could rack up a few inches by the end of the week, even though we don't get much out of this first system that's moving in. This is Friday at 530 and we can see that just continuing through 730 all the way through about 11 o'clock or so Friday night. So a good long uh, potential snow event for us on Friday with those colder temperatures staying in place. Now looking at the uh, snow output, just a model output, not our forecast for the next seven days from now until next Sunday, uh, that one system on Friday could bring us a bit more snow uh, on the GFS side, the Euro. Not not quite playing dice with that. It's giving anywhere from maybe one to three inches or more in the Euro and anywhere from three to six inches or more on the GFS model. This is a total from now all the way to next Sunday. So it combines today's event along with Monday and Tuesday and Friday. That's what it's looking like for the next seven days. So it's going to be looking and not just feeling like winter around here in the coming days. So your seven day forecast look for temperatures to be upwards of again of 33 on Monday. I have an alert there. We're likely going to call a weather watch alert for Monday night. Monday evening during the day on Monday, uh, you may still be able to go out as long as you bundle up and participate in a day of service for uh, the, the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday or attend some parades or just go see the monument. But Monday night is when that alert would go in effect. And then Tuesday we will have one, especially for the morning, because if it snows all night, could be some snow on roads that are untreated. So that's when our next weather watch alerts will likely be the rest of the week uh, looking good, except Friday with a chance for snow. We're going to leave you now with a look at a future cast and radar around the region as we continue to track some snow. Heavy snow bands moving through the area right now, and we will continue to watch that chance for snow Monday night heading into Tuesday.